at this day and age, I never thought I'd be discussing about the live action uh, controversy at the Little Mermaid that's surrounding the um, main characters uh, being black, but here we are. The funny thing is, the film hasn't even started production yet, and it's already gotten a bunch of followers, whether that's for the good or the bad. For decades now, like, you know, films have been whitewashed, such as Exodus. Um, the whole entire cast is white, and even the one with Christian Bale and Sigourney Weaver, as white as fuck, playing the Pharaoh's wife. You know, there wasn't a whole bunch of controversy about that, because people are used to it, but then there's this one character that gets changed as a race. Gets bitched about, which it doesn't even affect the story. And even in Sister Act, we've got her replaced by the nun from The Conjuring. I don't understand the backlash for Disney wanting to cast a different race, and the actress Haley Berry, that's Haley, not Holly. So back to my other point, but the story of The Little Mermaid, there's nothing about her race that would determine the story. Just because the character's skin tone has changed, it doesn't mean that they have to help be held accountable for changing the story along with that choice they made. Since I'm talking about controversies and complaints about Disney films, um, there's also the topic that um, there's too much gay themes in Disney films, like within the live action, action Beauty and the Beast, where uh, Lafu, Gaston's little henchman, was um, dancing with one of the guys at the end, and everyone had an uproar about that. When Disney has been, you know, basically um, supported the idea of gay uh, lives and gay lifestyles and like even the original Aladdin the cartoon Janie makes the uh, joke about how he's getting fond of Aladdin however he wouldn't want to go pick out curtains or anything and there's been many other occasions that I've seen that you've seen before so with that being said god damn it I just don't think that it's necessary honestly to make a big deal about it because at the end of the day it's just a movie it's not changing your life it's not going to impact you in any way for this change. There's even people commenting saying about how Disney's just doing this to be trendy and to make a bold move so that just so they can get some people in the seats. No. Some people just aren't as ignorant as you, as your closed mind leads you to believe. And some people actually are supportive of, you know, black actresses getting a, a role over a white woman. I mean, that does happen these days. I don't care what kind of um, race they chose for Ariel. I mean, she's a mermaid. It's not like she ha comes from a certain background or anything. You know, she could be a Latino now. I don't care. That. I mean, hell, they can have tacos into the sea. Why not? I don't know when, I don't know how, but someone's gonna have a cow right now! With, uh, Queen Latifah being brought up about playing Ursula with her photo shoot of her dressed as Ursula, um, I don't think there's any backlash about that, and plus, many people, fans of hers, were rooting for that idea, because I think she'd be, she'd be good, which I'll, I'm a Queen Latifah fan myself as far as her acting goes, I think she's pretty talented and funny, um, but, honestly, I prefer Kathy Bates in the role. Um, not because she's white, but because she's simply really talented and she could do, you know, a sinister character that we all know. But as far as her talent, the same thing goes with Halle Bailey. Or, Haley Berry, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. As long as she can act and sing and swim, hopefully. But I'll be CGI water, so that won't be a problem. <laughs> as many of you that know me, that you know that I take movies to the max and I'm, I'm very passionate about movies and filmmaking and everything. But at the end of the day, it's a movie, it's a hobby, it's something to enjoy, it's not something to make this big of a deal over this much controversy over just a, something as simple as a character change as far as the color. It's really childish and it's really, you know, this isn't the past anymore, you know. I thought we've improved from that era, but I guess not. Uh, like as far as, like, an, if it's an Egyptian movie, it should be an Egyptian cast. It shouldn't be white people playing Egyptians. It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't look right either on screen because, you know, they don't, they don't know Egyptians. Um, but yeah, like, as Michael Clark Duncan, even he played the Kingpin in the Daredevil movie. And even the director in that, at the time, he, he thought it was ridiculous. And the special features, he mentioned how he didn't like the idea because of skin tone. And he thought the only way to stay true to the character is to be true to the color of the character, which, again, that wasn't right to say. And it's not right for anyone else to say either because it's like, as Martin Luther King said, it's not, let them not be judged by the uh, color of their skin, but the content of the character. And so it's exactly the same thing here. You can judge by the character, not their, what they look like. I mean, anyway, that's my thoughts. I'd I like to hear yours, but keep it, uh, Keep it family down there, like don't, like be civil, don't, I don't want any arguments or anything. Just let me know what you think, and thank you, and have a good day. And I'm looking forward to the movie, regardless of what the changes are.